Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to quickly and easily create an account on OKX, how to deposit your first money and then leverage trade any cryptocurrency you want. If you want to create an account on OKX, you can simply go down to the video description, click on the link and then you will get to exactly this page right here and you can pick up a free mystery box worth up to $10,000 of bonuses. All you have to do is click on the link in the video description, then you can enter your details right here and you're ready to go. Once you have created an account and you log in for the first time, the page will look like this right here. And the first thing I wanna show you is how you can deposit with cryptocurrency. So if you already have crypto, you can easily send that right here if you just go up here to your assets and then click on deposit. Then you will get to this page right here and here you can choose what crypto you wanna select. So just click on here and let's say for example, Bitcoin. Then we can choose a network. So for example, the just normal Bitcoin network, click on continue and here you will get your Bitcoin address where you can just send your Bitcoin to and then it will be credited to your account right here. Obviously this works for any cryptocurrency. So if you go up here to edit, let's say for example, I prefer, I always like to use the US dollar tether. Then you can click for example on the Tron network right here, USDT TRC20. Click on continue. I like this one because it has very low fees. And here I get my Tron USDT network address, which I can copy and send USDT to here. So as you can see, if I scroll down a little bit here, you can see I've made the deposit. It was very easy and it arrived within like a few minutes. All right, the second thing I wanna show you is how you can also deposit with fiat currency. So with US dollar, with Euro, British pound, whatever currency you have. If you don't have crypto yet or you don't wanna deposit it here, you can of course also get money into here by using your fiat money. So if you just go up here and click on buy crypto and then click on buy with card, you will get to this page right here. And here first you can select with what currency you want to deposit. So you can say for example, the Euro, and as you can see, all these different other currencies. In my case, I'm just gonna stick with the euro here. And down here, you can choose what you want to receive. So you cannot hold your fiat currencies on the platform right here, but you can simply immediately trade it for a cryptocurrency and then hold that cryptocurrency here. So if you click here, you can choose between any of these currencies. So you could say, for example, Bitcoin, Litecoin, whatever you want. In my case, I'm just gonna choose USDT because it's very easy to, for example, later on trade with it. So here we can type how much we want to deposit. So let's say, for example, 500 euro. Then I have to click down here on buy USDT. And now I can choose between different payment providers. For example, I can just use my normal debit or credit card, as you can see down here. Then I have to verify my account and enter my card details, which is very easy. Or you can also choose, for example, some other payment options, for example, banks, as you can see, they offer a SIPA bank transfer if you want to do so, or Apple Pay, your Visa or MasterCard. So as you can see, they have different options that you can use. You can always see how much you're getting right here at what price. And then you can just enter your bank details, card details, whatever you need, and then you will have the money right here, which shouldn't really take more than a few hours. Once you've made any deposit, you can simply check if the money has arrived by just going up here to your assets and then click on my assets. And then you can see if the money has already arrived right here on your account. All right, so once you have the money deposited to your account right here, we can now use it to leverage trade any cryptocurrency with it. And to do that, we simply have to go up here to trade and then click on futures right here. Then we get to this trading page, as you can see right here, it might look a little bit complicated at the beginning, but we're gonna go through all the different elements now step by step. It might look a little bit different for you at the beginning, and this is because if you click on layout right here, you can choose between standard and pro. So if it looks like this, for you at the beginning right here. This is the standard layout, which I don't really like. So I would recommend you just click on here and use the pro layout, which looks much better in my opinion. All right, so now let's go through all the different things that you can choose right here. So up here, you can first choose your trading pair. I would always recommend you to use the perpetual futures because then you don't have any uh, expiring dates or anything. So you can trade them forever as long as you want. So I would recommend you to use them. And here you can see all the different trading pairs, so all the different cryptocurrencies that you can trade right here. For example, Bitcoin, Ethereum, all these different coins. In my case, I'm just gonna stick with Bitcoin. So I'm gonna click on it. And then you can see I have now BTC USDT perpetual selected. Then down below it, I can see the price chart right here. So if you have any elements right here that you don't want, you can click on the little X to get rid of it. So I personally just like to see the price chart right here. Um, then you can here choose the different time frames. So right now I'm on the four hourly chart, but you can of course also select, for example, like let's say the 15 minute chart. So I can see the 15 minute candles right here. And here on the right side, we can see the order books. So all the selling orders up here and all the buying orders down here. Right here at the bottom, you will see if you have any opened orders, you can see open positions, which we will get into in just a bit once we will open a position. And you can also see your assets. So here you can see your my US dollar tether, which I have deposited with, which I can use to trade 
um, Bitcoin USDT, obviously, right here. So I would always recommend you just use US dollar tether, but of course you could also use your Bitcoin if you want to do so. In my case, I'm using the US dollar tether. If you have some balances on your account and you cannot see them right here, it might be because you have to transfer them to your trading account. So if you click on transfer right here, you can see that you can choose, for example, if you have some on your funding account and you want it in your trading account, you can transfer it and type in how much of it and then just click on transfer and then you will see it also right here. So that's it for that. If you scroll up a little bit here on the right side, that's our last section. This is where we can control our actual trades. And this is what we're gonna do now. We're gonna actually open a trade. So first of all, we have to set our leverage up here. So here you can choose between caution isolated. I would always recommend you to just use isolated. And then here we can choose our leverage for long trades and for short trades. So if you click on here, you can see, okay, for my long trades, I want this leverage. So you can see, you can go up to 125X. You can type in your leverage manually right here or use these different errors or just click on one of these buttons. In my case, I'm just gonna stick with a 10X leverage for now and just click on confirm down here. And then I have it set to 10X leverage. So I'm using 10 times the amount of my own money. Then I can choose between open or close a trade. I wanna open a trade. Then you can choose the order type. So a limit order at which you could set a certain price at which you want the order to be opened. In my case, I would recommend you to always just use a market order because then you can enter the market immediately at the current market price, as you can see right here. Then you can type in the amount that you want to um, have for this position in Bitcoin, or you could lose this slide controller, which will choose how much of your available balance that you have right here, in my case, these $100 um, in the trade. So if I pull that up right here, you can see down here how big the position will be in this case, from 0.01 BTC up to 0.05 BTC. And down here, you can also see it in US dollar tether. So this is how much of your own money you're using, which is here at cost. And this right here is the amount in Bitcoin, which we are actually using for the entire position. So how big the position will be. So in this case, let's actually just go for 100%. So we're using our $100 and the position will be 0.05 BTC big, which is of course 10 times the amount that we have available because we're using a 10x leverage. Then we could also set it uh, take profit and stop loss if you want to do so. You, so you could type in a price for your take profit and a price for your stop loss. In my case, I'm just gonna show you that in just a bit because I find it a little bit even, a little bit um, more beautiful if you do it after. So let's just leave it at that and click on long. Then we have to do this window again, let's click on confirm. And then now we have the position opened. So if we go here on the left and now we see this little one at positions, if we click on here, now we can see our open positions. And let's actually go through all of the different elements that we can see right here. First of all, we can see it's a Bitcoin trade with a 10X long. We can see 0.05 BTC is the position size. We can see at what price we entered the market. We can see the margin. So how much of our own capital we have in this trade. Of course, 10 times this is the entire position size. If you go here over, you can also see it is $1,000. You can also see it in dollars if you wanna see it. So that's 10 times this. Down here, you can see the mark price, which is just the current market price. Here you can see your estimated liquidation price. So if you don't have a stop loss, which we don't have right now, but if we would enter, we were gonna do that in just a bit. But if you don't have one, this is the price where your position will be closed automatically and you would lose your entire margin that you have of your own capital in this trade. And um, you cannot lose more than you have in this trade, of course. So this is the maximum amount that you could lose at this price. But of course, if you set a stop loss before, like at a higher price than this, then you would, of course, you can, of course, limit your loss that you could potentially get. Right here on the right side, you can see your profit and loss. In this case, as you can see, the price has gone down a little bit since we entered here. You can see how we entered the position. So that's why we are right now like 25 cents in a loss. All right, so now I wanna also show you how you can add a take profit and stop loss. And to do that, you could go here and click on TP and SL. And now we can set a certain price at which we want to set a take profit or stop loss. You could also only set a stop loss, for example, or only a take profit. In my case, I'm just gonna do both. So I can type in a take profit price. So let's say, for example, at $24,000, I want my position to be closed. And down here, I can choose how much. Let's go for 100%. I want the entire position to be closed at that price. This would mean I would have a profit of $183 in this case. I could also set a stop loss price. So let's say, for example, at, let's say, 20 
1,500 or something like that, I want my position to be closed, then this would mean a $36 loss in this case. Also, I can see, okay, how much a price move this would be. So if it goes 13% up, this price will be hit. And if it goes 3.4% down, this price will be hit, which is also pretty useful to see it right here. So then we are done with that and we can just click on confirm down here. And now we have our take profit and stop loss. You can also see them if you go here to open orders and go to stop right here, then you can see take profit and stop loss at these different prices right here. You could also cancel them if you don't want them anymore and add new ones if you want to change that up. If you scroll down here a little bit, so if you scroll a little bit farther out, let's actually go to the four hour chart and scroll up a little bit, then you will be able to see, let's actually go to the daily chart. Now you can see your take profit up here and your stop loss down here, which is also pretty useful to see it right in the chart. All right, so now we can obviously wait until either your stop loss or take profit will be hit or you can change them up if you want to do so how I showed you. And I also want to show you lastly how you can always um, manually close your position, of course. And to do that, you have to go here on the right side. You can type in the amount that you want to close. So you could say, for example, 50%, half of it, or let's go in this case for 100% of my position. You can see in this case, I'm taking the 24 cent loss. Then I can just click down here on close and I can click on confirm. And now I'm out of the position again. Don't forget to create an account on OKX by using the link down from the video description to get the free mystery box that you can easily pick up. Just use the link from the video description and pick up your free bonuses. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments.